What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. I know y'all see the, uh, you see the, the uh, what is it? The thumbnail. Mike, put the, put the thumbnail up there for the, uh, the, the right thumbnail up there. The near, near long. <laughs> you want to just did start he, there? He, but he, he didn't even. Oh, it's a delay. I don't see the thumbnail, though. He ain't even finished. He yeah, just jumped oh, straight is, in. He just that, jumped straight right. in. I didn't even want to do no promo music or nothing. That's because you, he's so excited. That, right. that, what you got, that crush he on him? He got to no, 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 no. edge up. He no. think he got to edge oh, up. Oh, this relationship. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this and the woman back in. Oh. So okay. I, I said months ago, I was like, they should not break up. Well, it was. Now he think he's right. But how was your going? week? Huh? How was your week? My week was good. How was your yeah, week, Kanisha? It was like, it was like, what is this? He just wanted to be right so bad. <laughs> I was preparing for this show because I, I told y'all months ago when they broke up that she should not, she should not break up with him. And look, look, look at where, look where we at now. Where she, are we? She's it's trying to late. get him back. No, she's not. She is trying to get. That's what social media is saying. No, no, you got no. a video of her saying, "Please come back." No, it's it's gonna be uh, you know, it's gonna be evident that she gonna want to. Men don't have back. to beg for no man to come back. I want to no. know where 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 did you get those social media? It's, it's all over social media. It, it's, okay, it's, so what's the story? Over. How is she? How is she trying to come well, back? Well, well, she's trying to um. Well, they said that she wanted him back because you know she figured that she can't. She was out there. She couldn't find nobody else. That's a lie. No, I'm serious. She couldn't find nobody else. So y'all think if y'all was in her shoes, y'all wouldn't want to get um y'all wouldn't want to get back. Man, Lauren can have any man that she wants. Why she don't have him then? Where yet? Where are? They? Believe me, if she wants him, she can have him. No, she can have man, whoever. And, and be in particular about the man. Mm. She I'm can sure have, is why she's not with. She can have any man, but she ain't gotta be. She you know, can have she a high quality man everybody. too. Yeah, absolutely. She ain't gotta have but no. But I'm bump. sure it's a little harder weeding through because of her status. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little harder trying to get the man. But I'm not gonna say that it's a problem that she went back. Now, if this is true and she wants to go back or get back with him and they reconcile, mm -hmm. it needs to be on terms. Not because I couldn't get a man. Well, no, well, ain't got a. Well, she could have probably got a man. I'm sure she could get a guy, but she probably can't get a guy on his level. Well, what level is he on? Not for fun. He a head coach of a football team. So she can't get something bigger than him. Well, where they at? Well, where the guys at? They, they out there. Trust me. Where if Nia Long, if Nia Long wanted a man who felt was desperate as you might think that she is, if she wanted a man like that, all she got to do is probably post something. I'm searching for my next man. Yeah. That right. shit will. No. <laughs> Yeah, he is. Wow. Back to him. That she don't mean is. that he on no level. No, 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 no. She, that's, she, that's, what he, that's why he's so excited. That's why, why all right, man, and back when I told y'all, like, when the other couple, they didn't even break up. The couple who had, like, the uh, the lady, she didn't lose Yeah, her right, husband. right, because they weren't, they weren't the spotlight. Like, her it husband. It don't matter if you're on the spotlight. It absolutely does. Her husband, nobody knows who these His people are. His friends and family know that she has. So what? And they don't even time. care, probably. That's who I'm worried about more so than anybody. I'm worried about my friends and family more so than I am, like, public perception. You worried about your friends and family's what? Friends like, and family I'm, are public I'm, perception. I'm, 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 how my friends and family perceive me is more important than how the public perceives me. Mm, okay. So, so the lady and the man who were, well, the lady that was involved, her and her husband decided they, to work it out for the weekend. They now, they may have had a whole list of other reasons why they decided to work it out that they had nothing to do with infidelity. They might have decided to work it out because they wanted to. They got kids, they blah, got, blah, blah. Exactly, exactly. And they, they do too. However, to kid with me alone, yeah, right? however, we don't know the history of his BS of or whatever BS. they've been going The I infidelity, no. Um, Udoka, yeah, Udoka. we don't know if this is a reoccurrence, if this is something that happened, you know, before, or if the, you know, yeah, I mean, you I don't know. know if, if he had, if he had, if he stepped out before, she stepped out before. I know that four people was involved in this thing, and only one person wanted out, and now that person went back in. So now, yeah, what y'all yeah. gotta say about that? So the other way, you're, the other you're, lady you're rationalizing it is bullcrap. I'm not rational. I'm just going by what I see. What, 
when they stayed together, this the was man don't have the husband don't got nothing to do with it. It ain't four people. It was three people in. Four it. people in. Three. Three. Because the her, her husband, husband ain't had nothing to do with it. We're dealing with two couples. Just two couples. Yeah, so, okay, we're so, with two couples. so if, if, if the husband would have decided that he wanted to leave, then what would be your response? Well, the thing is, all right, if that other husband decided that he didn't want to stay there for his wife, then I probably would have been felt like that was more justified because she cheated on him. But it's not no, but I'm saying it's more commendable for him to stay and to fight through that. Why is it? Because he got a family. He got he got the kids. You know, they got a life that they built together. And so, it seems so, to me that Nilan was more more uh, willing to throw everything that her and her man built together than the other couple. That's so. At the saying. end of the at day, time, okay. what's more important though? What's more important? Everything you built together or my sanity and happiness? No. I'm not staying nowhere. I don't. Give a damn how much was built. So her sanity is different now. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. No, 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 Listen, no, no, no. Listen it, it, is, it is a proven ghetto fact. Yeah. Or known fact around the world, no matter what color yeah. you skin, I don't care who you are, men cannot handle when women cheat. Oh, absolutely. He stayed they with her. Not. The he stayed stayed. with her. You all, all we know is that he possibly stayed with her. We don't know the, the grief, well, the we pain, whatever. He stayed with her. He's one in a million. No. Because most men well, are so not, no, most men cannot million, handle it. One in a hundred, one in a thousand, Most know. men cannot handle yeah, it. Yeah, most she men, was no, on most the men won't. Foot, they won't. He no made with have rolled out. Would you say if you found those your yeah. lady was cheating on you? I don't know. No. 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 Look, if it was a young couple and, and something like they that. They're not young. They're young couple. Really? No, I'm talking about the other guy. Huh. The other couple. They ain't That's they they young neither, I'm sure. They are. Well, either way. And they had young kids. As an older, as, as you, period, your age. Mm -hmm. Right now, this what? moment, you unhappy. If I'm right? unhappy. You something find out your lady's cheating that, on that, you. That messed up your whole relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Some infidelity, whatever is your non-negotiable happened. And, and it's hard for you to bounce back from that when anybody well, do it. Listen, listen. Are you leaving or staying? If we, if we, if I'm in that same predicament that that guy's and we got young kids and we're a young couple, then yeah, we'll try to work it out. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> they both got young kids. Y'all heard it first here. Because, and I told y'all at the time. I Lies. Told I can't see you doing that. Me no, either. No, I'm not how you stand on this, this, this <laughs> masculinity foolishness. I'm telling y'all because the bigger picture, though, is like what they was building together. Like that, that probably was to them is, is like a road bump in their relationship. That's why at the time when they broke up, I was like, I don't think Nia Long should leave. I think she should stay and try to work it out. Then I say that months ago. Yeah, because you thought so. You <laughs> thought that the whole basis for staying together is because you need to work it out if you didn't build stuff. And you said that right. Nia Long kind of needed him. They were kind of well, equal. And no, they not. They not. They not on. He was his. He, is, he was not a star. He was not a star. a star. He, he was not a star. But if we look at that, she can build uh, and build the future. She with, couldn't though. build with anybody. So no, I'm not. No, you, no. I'm she not building no future. Yeah, no, I'm not building no future. If 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 I need somebody on my level mm -hmm. to build with, then I also need somebody who can be faithful. If that's my my non-negotiable, who can who can who can come to the table with some money? If that's my non-negotiable, yeah, but. If he can't be faithful and that's something she don't want to tolerate, then leave. Then why she come back then? If that's we don't her, know if she back. Her, uh, we don't know. I need oh, to see it. No. It needs to come from the <laughs> horse's mouth for me to believe it. Because coming bad. from your right. mouth, uh, show, your bias, show the clip. mouth. <laughs> show the, show the, show the, uh, this clip. Please run the clip. She back. She back. What's, what's the lady that say, no, no, no way, I'm living without you? What's that? Yeah. Name? Oh. Oh, um, Jennifer, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. Like, no, Jennifer Hudson. Yes. No, no, that's, she sung. That's the remake. Name. I think it's something holiday or something. Is it Jennifer, Jennifer Holiday? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I am telling you. Yeah, I'm not going well, nowhere. Well, what? What? No, 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 no. You're not what? Oh, what? <laughs> I'm living without We're you. Not oh, my words. gosh. I'm sorry. She is coming back. She what were the words of this? Uh, I had I had a, uh, somebody do the editing for me. Yeah, it was your words. You did it. 
<laughs> yeah, but I mean, she is coming back just like I said months ago. So that's it. So y'all saying if y'all was near long, y'all wouldn't want boo tomatoes is what I'm saying. You wouldn't want them back. No, I back. mean, I don't know what I would want. I don't. I, I wouldn't know. I, would no, I don't know because either. I look at things because females do take her, men sure. back once they. You cheat. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like infidelity may not be my end all be all. Like we might be able to bounce back from that. And that's what I said. But ago. that's my, that's me. Mm -mm. That doesn't have to be all women. A lot all of women, women ain't got to take men, take men back, back take because they back. want, they need to do that in order to keep building. That's what it sounds like. That she needs to take him back because without him, she can't achieve what it is that they were building together. Right, because like, I mean, that's just like, I mean, that's throwing away everything else that you got for only one mistake that he, he made. How you know that was the one but mistake? Here's the that's thing. The one, that, that's, but here's that's the thing. That's the mistake that cost him. But here's the thing. Look, look, time out. Time out. Here's the thing. How did they get caught? They got caught because the wife of that man was trying to break it off. He was begging the wife not to break it off. So here we go. What? Your boy begging, keeps sweating. Who? Um, the, 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 yeah, the he was begging the white lady, the, the other lady, not to <laughs> break was, it off. But you want oh, you want his wife to build true. with him. It was true. Uh, That's how it was All right, let me see. Because the husband had. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was a ring or whatever it was. Whatever their alarm system was, the husband heard the whole conversation. Mm -hmm. And he was in their parking lot oh, or whatever, wow. somewhere near, begging this woman not to cut it off with him. What? I mean, all right, that, that still don't make a difference, though. <laughs> Listen. So, all right, so, all right, so what you're saying is, is so the, the first husband stayed with his wife because he, it kind of made it like Idoko was like, uh, like stalking her. No, he stayed with his wife probably for some other reason that we don't know. And right. see, here's and the thing, true. though, too. And the it wife was, don't got nothing to do with these kids. The wife in uh, that equation, that the wife was the one that was cheating in that equation, right? Mm -hmm. Men don't take women back so easily or hey, whatever. The guy did. He, he did. But stay. you better believe me. She probably was in there doing handstands, back flips, all yeah. kinds and, of things. And we looking at. <laughs> and I mean, I hate to, I hate to go to the race car, um. but. I'm going to go there go because the, the structure and families and what's taught is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So on that side, you work it out. Yeah, you work it out. On because, outside, because leave that nigga alone. They don't, because they don't, <laughs> like like you said, you think that family and friend perspective or perception of you is important. Mm -hmm. On that side, that's not the most important. They could give a damn less what family and friends might necessarily say. Public perception is more. So if we walk away okay, from yeah. this, you don't embarrass me, right. but I can't walk away from you because publicly I have my own stuff that I that I can't let break down in the public eye. Right. So it could have been that could have been the reason why right. he decided to stay together because he didn't want to be humiliated at the end of the day. No. Nia no. Long walking away is completely different. One, because her man cheated on her. She's the woman, so walking away looks good for her. Nobody's gonna judge her because she walked away. Of course not. Except for men like it. But she she her <laughs> walking away though is just it's just her like throwing everything away. The other people work through their problems. Okay, that's what you and that's do. why that's why both of them still have somebody. Oh, okay. Each other. Yeah, each they other. still have each and, other. And, as and chemically imbalanced and toxic as it is, at the end of the day, as we long don't. as they still have each other, you good with that. that we don't know Absolutely that. Absolutely not. Any relationship. It's like we don't know that they still together, happy, peachy, and, and worked it out all good. That's what they said publicly. Oh. They was going to work it out. Next, <laughs> what, what is the next that's, topic? That's what they said, what they said publicly. From Michael News. That's what they said publicly is that they was going to work it out. And, and you, and when I they said, said they was going to work it out, you was like, yep, because they had built a whole life together. He couldn't even get and his first sentence out who? to you today. today. You know yeah, he couldn't even get his first sentence out today. Now, whether uh, Idoko <laughs> takes Neilam back or not, I'm not sure if he's going to do that. He's going to take her back. If she, she if, if she backed him, man, I wish I would. I wish I would. Right. I wish I would. Right. She should have never left. She should have never left. She should have never left. Well, I mean, I could, understand, <laughs> I could understand that, you know, that she wanted to leave, but I think just like, you know, I think she should have worked it out from the so beginning. She, no, she, I don't say she got a bag, but, but I can understand, like, you know, she done been out there. She just ain't nothing out there. 
and she done calmed down. She ain't been she out had, there long enough. She had time to think. Well, she she been out there long enough. She over fifty years old. <laughs> <laughs> so what? She, what she got? Two weeks? Yeah, she can't hang too long. She oh my god! Here we go. He crazy. Ain't in a whole lot of options. If I'm crazy, all right. If I'm crazy, then why is she back? We don't. We, we don't believe you. You're <laughs> the only person who believes wholeheartedly that this she's there. This common knowledge. This common knowledge. So y'all didn't look it up. Right, let me. Look I did. Up. I couldn't find anything. <laughs> Nothing. And that was a. That was the only topic that I didn't know if I knew. Yeah. And I was like, "What's yeah, in recent okay. news?" Yo yo found it. I ain't find nothing. <laughs> the only thing that first thing to pull up is from April of 2023. Yeah, there we go. X gives new job after cheating scandal. Oh, they back together. Oh my gosh. So we done yeah, had this whole together. 20 minute. August debacle. 8, 2023. Neil Long and Uduki back together again. Rumors say so. Yeah. There you go. Rumors. Yeah, rumors. Yeah. Well, everything we talk about is rumors. Look at all these rumors. Hey, fight me every, every day. day. Hey, I just need yeah. some time. Sometimes they get away. Oh. Hey, stop, stop yeah. spreading these rumors around. Stop, stop spreading the lies. Okay, he up. just want to be right. <laughs> so I mean, it's because it only, it only made sense that they, you know, how did we get here today? Well, you know, this Next. is his subject, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So, just don't make no sense. As usual, I was right. All right, y'all. All right, he said he right. All right, well, let's let him be right, right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, now let's talk about uh the Michael Orr situation. Y'all, y'all up to date on the Michael Orr situation, his battle with the uh Tui family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> some I, I just saw a clip of it on Twitter and I saw somebody say that he wasn't he never liked the movie anyway, right? Like, yeah, he was and they, they scammed him, took money, and in. well, yeah, because he did say from the beginning, like I remember when he was with the Ravens, they was he said that. The movie was like it wasn't accurately it didn't accurately depict him because he said by the time he moved in with them he was already like a top athlete so it wasn't like they had uh, took him uh, and, and the movie made them, made them look like they molded him yeah. and, and like he was he was a bit he was slow like timid and, like, and yeah, slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, yeah. Yeah, but you know. So in the movie, it made it look like they made him, but like, he was already made right when he he got there. so maybe you know like. Just like any other time, well, in most times, a family might see that this guy got potential, this kid had potential, and then they, you know, and then they allow him to stay with him and stuff like that. And so, but the thing is, though, all right, he's saying that he thought that they had adopted him, which, you know. I thought he did. He was adopted. Yeah, he honest. wasn't he's adopted. Not, he was it, never adopted. No, he was, he was a, um, a conservator. Yeah. And so, he wanted them to release it now or something. Cause they wow. like as a, it's almost like a conservatorship. It's almost like a uh, it's like giving somebody power of attorney. I'm so but like I own it. Like so many words. Yeah, so they wow. get to make like decisions about your finances and, and like your public image and stuff like that. And they so even after the movie, they continue to make money off of his image or you know right. off of him and his reputation and stuff like that. And he didn't think that that was fair. Mm. But I don't know. Like as a conservator, like if he was eighteen. And you can't legally adopt nobody at 18. Why should they have signed anything like, made a conservative? Right. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, he was vulnerable. He was in a probably right, yeah. a vulnerable position. And it sound good. He was a kid, sound good, like these people taking care of him or helping him get to where he needs Giving to him be. stability, family yeah, life. So I could see it being a convincing argument. I could see him signing over. Right. Yeah, I could see them that. being able to like manipulate and sway him into signing a conservatorship because the way he said it was explained to him, they said that it was like it, it was almost like an, it, like legally making him a part of their family. Yeah. So and he probably felt like he wanted to be a part of right. Their that's family. what I said, giving them stability yeah. in the family. But he life couldn't be so adopted. Right. 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 He couldn't age. be adopted because okay. he was eighteen. So now that they once they signed that conservatorship, then that's when they started. You know, they got the movie deal, and then they set up like different nonprofits or charities and stuff in his name, and like continued to make money. Money off. Of but him. his thing. Another thing is like he, y'all didn't. They didn't split the money fairly, at least fairly with him, like he thought they should. Do they ever? 
Yeah. Right. So I'm they not always really sure use the person the or use the person's story, and that person always yeah. get the short yeah. end of the stick. I mean, yeah. like you really have to be careful who you trust in. Well, yeah, and that's it's the, hard. It's hard because everybody be yeah. on some other be yeah. stuff that they ain't telling. Yeah, so, and at yeah, eighteen, you know, and coming from where he came from, I think they 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 took advantage. Really, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they took advantage. They saw opportunity. A uh, uh, young black superstar in the mm-hmm. making. Yeah, and they money, yeah. dollar signs, so many too. different options, mm-hmm. movie deals. Yeah. So do y'all think they should have to like pay some money back to him for uh I think at this big age he should he should figure it out. Like yeah, yeah. and whatever I think he has lost need to end. in this. If he, the if the conservatives what is the conservative uh, yeah. shit? If if that's still active, they need to that's the, yeah. right. They need that's to that's it. Cut right. that. And you can't you can't go back on the past of what you didn't know. These people did what most people, unfortunately, may have done in their position. Mm-hmm. It, it's nobody's fault necessarily. It's not their fault that he was allowed to be manipulated. Mm-hmm. It's wrong for them to do the manipulation, but it ain't their fault if he got manipulated. At this point, he a grown man. He needs to figure out how to dissolve his relationship with them yeah. completely so they ain't got no more access to him or his money. Yes, I don't think he, they gonna be able to. I don't know if they given given up this conservatorship. I don't see how they can be able to hold on to it though at this yeah, point. Like he's either. like 37, 38 yeah, years old. Way too old. They were still ending it. Yeah, so all right. So and if they ending it now, you know, like he at 37, why why did it take so long though? I because like he wasn't him, foster. Yeah, yeah. And and if if he now again, here we go with what I said earlier. It, it was a personal problem. It was something that, that probably was discussed behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. They probably knew he was irritated by it, but he never told or brought it to public attention. Yeah. Now he brings it to the forefront in front of the world, and now it's like, oh, we can't look bad. We can't yeah. look like the bad guys in this. So we ain't even gonna argue with him about. It. We just gonna end it because we don't we don't need it. Why why we never wanted it? You know what I'm saying? Just to kind of clean up I the think, image that they had. I think if they wanted to save their image though, they should have re- been got rid of that. You know that that they title. probably didn't think it was gonna be an issue. Yeah, because from the jump, he not like he always said even when he was with the Ravens that that movie just didn't you know depict him in the proper light. But again, his humbleness. Maybe that timidness that yeah. was portrayed didn't allow him to step on their necks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So he waited till now for whatever reason. Maybe it was something they did that triggered. Like, hold up, see, y'all ain't gonna keep doing this to me, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna go public with it before he was in public. Like nobody yeah. know this stuff. And I think maybe like like about almost a year or so ago, he got married too. To I think he got four kids by the young lady that he married. Dang. So maybe she is, uh, you know, it might be affecting their finances or something that they trying to do, you know, to move Possibly, forward. Or just a, a or he or he married to a Meghan Markle. Oh, just want to start pulling on all the family dirt and your family doing this and doing that. Yeah. I mean, uh, his wife probably. You know, I don't know if he's trying to make money. I guess it was easier for him, you know, to ignore it while he playing football. And now that he's not playing football, you know, and he married, you know, he gonna need, he gonna want to be able to make money off his own. He need his coins. Like, yeah, yeah. If y'all will be talking about me, give me my coins, roll me my coins. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna be able to get any money from him, mm-hmm. or if he's gonna be able to get any money from them. Rather, but, just uh, just terminate whatever contract they have and keep it moving. Yeah, I think that would be best for all parties involved. Yeah. That way, it won't be a legal battle. It won't be a drag of character and all of that foolishness. It was what it was. Move on. Let let it break ties, sever ties, and go separate ways. Right? So, so y'all don't think he should have anything else to do with them from now on? It's going to it's going to it's unless, going to be tension, yeah. and it, it's not going to be the same. So, if anything can be salvaged, I mean, salvage yeah. it. But at least you know the people that you're dealing with. And if it if it if it creates a tense and ugly situation, mm-hmm. then I guess you have to cut some time. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. So yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just I just want to continue to see like what what happens with this situation. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of you know, once money get involved in it, 
then you know relationships change anyway. Right. Mm-hmm. A lot All of times, time. you know, with most people, whether they have good intentions or not. So, and we haven't really heard from the Tui family too much. I know they uh their lawyer or the guy. What's his I name? Sean Tui, the father said that uh he was devastated by the allegations. I think that's some some BS. Like, I'm, it like goes I'm back to that public like, perception. I'm devastated. You can't you can't put me in this box where you make me look bad publicly. Because yeah, yeah. that's not how I am. You know, like it's public perception is very important to other yeah. people. So yeah, I, but I'm I'm gonna keep uh I'm gonna keep up with that case. That's the near long too, huh? Yeah, yeah. clearly. Yeah, well, I mean, the near long thing is she probably got a lurk set I up mean, on his you, phone. You kind of like stone. clearly you you um. What? Emma Duque's Duca is that how you pronounce his um last Duca. name? Emma you're Duca. you're like his wags, his Wagner, <laughs> Wagner to X. That's what's, who you are. <laughs> you watch billions. Billions. Yeah, oh, you would be wags to to Emma. <laughs> no, no, I just I mean. He, this this is the, an example of a point. Well, me, that's all I'm saying. Okay. So, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 and and yeah, happened. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it happened. So, all right. So the next thing we're gonna get into is the uh, let me. See. Oh, what is it? Uh, Trevon Taylor and Jessica Ross, the Georgia couple. With who, the baby. They had a baby. It, yeah, and the baby. Um, so this Georgia couple is suing a hospital. Because their um their their kid was decapitated during, during birth. birth. I didn't even know like. And what made it worse was that the issue is mm-hmm. things happen during birth. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. you know, like the mother could die, the baby could die, anything can happen. But the last thing you would think of mm-hmm. is if is your baby head coming clean off. And then, what like I was going to say, what made it worse was. Everybody in the room knew, mm. right? Everybody in the room knew. They put the baby head back on the shoulders or neck or whatever the case it was, wrapped the baby up in a blanket and presented it and showed it to the parents with the head mm. off. Hey, that's um instead yeah. of telling them what happened or whatever, the whole situation was traumatic. So whether you tell them right now or you present this false image. Yeah. Of a baby, so I don't know. Like, all right, if in that in that situation, how do you present that to a to a mother? Was the father in the in the room too? So I, I don't know. If he, well, I'm sure I'm, he was. Yeah, I don't, you, you say you think? I think he was. Listen, yeah, how do you present that? The to same way you heard your child die. I mean, first of all, exactly, it's the same way. If a child is born. Still born. You're mm-hmm. saying like, how do you present that to the couple and in the couple not not to defend the doctors, though, but, but, I, but that's not still a like situation. Immediately. To see the baby, right? Oh, right. all right, all right. So they didn't want to show them the baby, and so they they suggested other options. You know, as far as like disposing of the baby, so they wouldn't have to show them the baby. Yeah. So you know, sometimes, and that's and that's, a, that's another thing. Sometimes, some of those situations, I think the hospital do, or they like, they will ask mm-hmm. if you want to see the baby, or they'll try to not let you see the baby. In so many words, because that's like a traumatizing yeah thing. Yeah. Some people don't want to see the stillborn baby. You know, like that's a delicate subject, a delicate situation. So, but the thing is, they should have told them them people um, the the baby he yeah. was gone. The problem that they're gonna have, like, not even a couple. Trying to cover First it up. of all, the the couple is young. One, mm-hmm. you can tell that they're kind of younger, and they probably have no idea. Um, two, that's not something that commonly happens. Right. So there can be a lot of things that go wrong during the birth process but to hear that a baby is decapitated even before birth or during birth is almost unheard of right right? so the problem that the they rightfully the the parents rightfully deserve to sue the hell out of the hospital and the the doctor doctor. because the doctor's lack of empathy in that moment and 
she did not adhere to the code of ethics that she didn't sworn herself in by. And so like you're gonna try to cover that up. Mm. It would have been better for her, probably medically. Medically, it would have been better for her to accept the fault that she had yeah. in it in that that's moment. That's why she prayed, um, paid male to 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 you, Yeah, that's she why. got a male, and they're gonna take her. They are going to take her license. It might have been. It might have been. She probably, if she uh, loses her license, she's gonna lose her license more so for trying to cover yeah, it up. Yeah, that's what it's for. Yeah. Versus, not, not for the for malpractice and the mistake versus, because right. that's something you can bounce back from. She could have said a lot of things. I did not know it was that amount of pressure. I couldn't tell. Like it could have been a lot of things. But she, they literally went into panic, clean it up mode, and let's hope she don't recognize. And so, so like I remember when I had my um last child, um. I had a C-section and I felt everything. Like when they cut me and all, like I felt everything. I was in that operating room hollow. And then the doctor, my doctor was trying to, cause I had previous C-sections. So she was pulling and pulling and pulling. So she basically was like, it is what it is. Your adhesive, mm. adhesive they like um, spider webs or whatever. She said they're real thick and so forth, whatever. So long story short, I was in there howling, crying, or whatever. Then the anesthesiologist eventually gave me some more medicine in my IV. I had some of that Michael Jackson stuff, the propofol. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, when I came when I came out the operating room, operating room, my mother was in another room. She said, "Girl, what's wrong with you? You look traumatized." She could see like it wasn't like the regular C-section or some other stuff had went mm -hmm. on. And my uncle is an OBGYN doctor. Well, he used to be. He don't practice that part no more. He's a health commissioner across the Bay Bridge. So, but anyway, he told me that the doctor had the call for everybody in that room. So she, it was, she yep. should have put me to sleep, yep. right? Yeah. So she didn't do that. So that was a negligence in the lawsuit thing, but I didn't pursue it or whatever. And the crazy thing about it is the next day she came to visit me and I was up in the bathroom taking a shower or whatever the case may be. Um, and she said, I love you. Like, cause she knew, she probably knew, you know, that the whole situation, could have been, it could have been handled yeah, differently. Yeah. And it was, it was some, it was borderline negligent. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I say that to say, that doctor in this situation, everybody should be held accountable, accountable. because yeah. everybody because, is negligent. Because even if the doctor had the the top say in the room or whatever, a you had in nurses in there, you had probably you had the, the anesthesiologist, like everybody, everybody that, that was in that room should be held accountable. If you want to lock the doctor up, all the people that's need to have probably whoever them. somebody in that room. Look at this. Oh, that's all right. I'm, I'm pretty sure <laughs> somebody else felt, felt accountable for that, for their part in it. And that's mm. how the whole decapitation <laughs> came out. Because I can't believe that I'm sure somebody in that room is going to have a change of heart and be like, I'm going to save myself mm -hmm. and not her ass. Especially now. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Somebody, yeah, they're going to make sure that she takes the fall. Well, I mean, even in that situation, like what, if everybody immediately went into cover up mode, right? Why that, does that mean that that has happened before that something happened in the, uh, in the operating room and everybody just knew to keep their mouth shut? Right. So that makes it that, 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 that probably happens a whole lot of times. Maybe right? not yeah. that situation. Yeah, not that situation, but, but a lot of crazy but stuff. Like, like Yo-Yo said, like, even when I had a C-section, there are things that happened in the, in the operating room that I had never seen prior to, to having a C-section. Mm. Because when you have a C-section, you are under anesthesia, but you're not asleep. Mm -hmm. So they they keep you woke enough so that so that you can see. So you, you're conscious. You're you're you kind of paralyzed see. from the neck down. But this works, yeah. and, and the feeling here works. And when I was in there, I could see the uh, the light was over up. top of me, and the light had a reflection. Mm. And in my mind, I was thinking I wasn't getting enough anesthesia. But I think it was because I could see exactly what they were doing, and it made me feel like Girl, I could feel it. I never said that anything. light. I watched the entire thing from her opening my stomach up, mm. moving 
all of it just and i was just like bland and all your organs be pushed around and, and then out, yeah and then out, when they go to time. like push them back see that stuff? no but that's i what saw happened. it yeah. but that's because i didn't say anything about mm. what i could see they probably would have moved the angle if they know that i could have stopped so but that light oh my gosh i remember when i had my first daughter Remember that video, Earn Hall, I miss you. Mm -hmm. I miss you. Remember mm -hmm. she went in the operating room with that big light of oh, yeah, yeah. Girl, that's what my first experience was. I'm like, oh Lord, they're gonna kill me in it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after seeing that video. Lord, I remember that. So do y'all think they didn't give y'all like enough anesthesia? Oh, I did. I, I did. So my uh, uncle explained to me because that was my third child, and mm -hmm. all of them was C-section, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So each C-section, they come in, they cut you, you, you heal like a spider web, the adhesion or whatever. So he said when you have multiple C-sections, the scar tissues can get so thick sometimes mm -hmm. that that can happen or worse. And he said in a case like that, if I was in pain and conscious and knew what was going on or whatever, it was the doctor's call on how to proceed. Okay. And he said the doctor should have... Mm -hmm. Knew my history, like okay, this is her third C section, fourth C section, it's fifth C section. To this might be this right, area. so we're okay. gonna have to do a different process, right. and they did. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. So I mean, I'm thinking they definitely. I don't know if she's gonna lose her license, but she should. Oh, I she think. should. Everybody, everybody yeah. definitely yeah. make it. That's 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 the, that's the, the, part, part, that's the criminal part. part. Yeah, because she could bounce back from messing up on her ethics. Like mm. like you can go in front of the. Than the hospital board, the medical board. And, and then and the crazy thing itself. about it is, see, even on a baby death certificate, even though the baby didn't mm. live to have a name or whatever the they case probably, may be, it still got to be recorded about. and documented on a death note. And the death note or description surely will say decapitation. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. All right. So, you know, I don't know. I think like those doctors really. Sometimes those doctors, they do so many procedures and deal with so many different patients. And they, they just think like, it's just, they're like, all right, come on, come yeah, on, next, next, next. They just this. lose their bedside manner, and, for real. Yeah. And some, like with any honestly, other job, unfortunately. Honestly, yeah. some, a lot of doctors don't even come to the table with good bedside manner. Mm -hmm. And it depends on what type of doctor you are. OBGYNs, mm -hmm. GYNs, whoever that, when you're... Uh, OBGYN, and I'm thinking about like, you know, a family practitioner, like some of those things, you just have to have bedside manner. You you can't be nasty to people because you're dealing with a different, I don't really care if my gastroenterologist ain't real nice. Mm. The hell with him. But if if my, my OBGYN isn't nice, I'm going to have a problem with that. Like, I'm going to have a, a real problem with that because that's, breathing... it's more of an intimate yeah. situation. You know, you the, you speak of that, the bedside man is, I was reading, um, not reading, but it was a person that was on Facebook um, and she was talking about how she just had both her legs amputated or whatever. She was a double amputee from vascular issues or whatever. And her vascular surgeon made her feel so uncomfortable and so like the comments because of her pain. Um, after the, the amputation, it was like, from what I read, she was like, the doctor wouldn't give her no more medicine and told her that they gave her the max amount of medicine that she could have for this particular time and she need to deal with it. Like, mm. somebody just getting both of their legs cut off, even if they're not in pain, mentally they might be in pain. So what can you do for this person mm -hmm. to right. put them to sleep? Like, put them all the way out, you know? Like, right. put them in a sedated coma or something. And she... um. She's actually looking into suing the, yeah. the hospital yeah. and the doctors because how she felt as though she was treated as a patient after one of the most traumatizing surgeries, you know, yeah, that somebody could encounter. It's a level of like empathy. And she thought that the race had to, to play yeah. with it. And so that I think, after, like you said, like y'all said, after a certain amount of time, after years being in this, after hours and hours on end of being busy, I think that they lose it. They, yeah. lose it or become they just look at it as something else to do. Like, yeah. all right, come on, hit one another one. Yeah. And yeah. Even in this situation, it could have been in that moment, the doctor could have been like, this ain't never happened to me. What the hell? I'm yeah. not being defeated by this. I This don't happen to me. I know how to get this baby out. So it could have been a moment. I'm sure, I am sure that there was no intention 
behind it just, that, that it cover just up was, made it ugly. Yeah, yeah, the cover up definitely made it ugly. And I know that the cover up probably honestly was instinctively something that a lot of people would have done in her in her situation. Yeah, I just but I do I do think that um people in the medical profession, or I mean just people in general really should just uh just like you know just take into consideration and listen to people you know you know take into consideration their feelings or their yeah, situation they need to listen to the yeah, patients and listen being, to their patients being a, a doctor is like being a, a parent or a teacher like mm. the, the patient is like doesn't know you know what i'm saying but as the patient just like as a child and as a student you know what you feel. Mm -hmm. And sometimes what you feel is correct, even if it ain't supported by science. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So you gotta, as a doctor, you gotta be understanding of that. Yeah. And so that like lead me into our next, our next topic. Um, the, remember the lady you told me about the Texas, what was she, a, a, a correction, correction officer? Correction officer at the jail. I don't, I can't pronounce her name. What's her don't name? Philly, yeah. <laughs> well, she a, te a Texas corrections officer. I don't have- They wouldn't let her leave. Right, yeah. She complained about uh, having uh Salia Issa. Yeah, Salia Issa, I think it was. But she complained about having stomach pains and stuff like that. She was pregnant and they wouldn't let her leave her post. And so by the time she she got to leave her post, I think she had um she went to labor and her baby was like she had a stillborn baby. Stillborn birth. baby, yeah. So that's another situation like you know, where people who have authority over you. Your job. Yeah. Like yeah. But see, certain job. over your job, like I said, I, I told Maggie this, like, let me tell you something. It's no way in the world that job would have been able to stop me from leaving in that position. Mm. I would have gotten up, goodbye, dropped my stuff. Especially when you're pregnant, yeah. Yeah, when a jail like right. that. Oh, so you are right. locked here. Yeah, you locked in there. You can't even abandon the post because at this point you were inmates here. You can't. If the jail was on lockdown. Yeah. Because oh. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, but she still, she still could have locked. Oh, okay. That's a good. I never. I didn't even know that. I, I remember when I used to work there. We she, she oh, okay. So she locked in there. I know when I, I used to work out of jail, stuff. I used to work out of jail hospital. Because I would have been losing yeah, I had my to stuff. Yeah. Like banging on the like you like Call somebody would have been like, yo, we gotta open these doors because she's going crazy. Like in 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 this situation, they did not do what they were supposed to do. I feel like as you got to be looked at the same. You're a pregnant woman. You looked at the same as everybody else. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sue them. I'm going to yeah, sue them. But I'm sure. Yeah, she definitely going to be. She definitely going to sue. And she looking for compensation that said that. All it ain't even it ain't even just about compensation. I mean, it, compensation is always good. Yeah. Sorry. But with some of these situations, can't no money in the world. Yeah. Yeah. But I wouldn't even want to go back. And, oh, yeah. No. You know, to that. She, she's just thinking right, pay so, her, period. Yeah. Yeah, That's insane. she ain't gonna have to work. See, and I thought I didn't. I didn't realize that. You know, I figured she had her own set of keys so she could roll out. <laughs> like, like, but like um, a, Andy Griffin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got walk yeah. through one door. You got wait for this door to close, and then once that door closes, the next door opens. Right, so yeah. What jail you used to work at, Mikey? All right. Well, no, I used to work downtown. That's all. I used to work. I was out. Um, I was downtown, but I used to work in the medical department. I was a medical unit secretary. Yeah. So would you have been able to just leave if you was in that situation? Yeah, I used to work in the hospital. Well, yeah. Out of the um, jail. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, never even in a certain like none of the jail was on lockdown. It would have to be that's an extreme circumstance though. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that, that right so there is something that was she should have said she could have got the she been, path and if somebody, somebody should have acknowledged the situation. As soon as she said, Listen, 
I don't, I'm having stomach pains. And they knew she was pregnant good. or whatever the case may be. That's a lawsuit. Oh, yeah. See, that's yeah, another but not, but, it, but it be big and pregnant. I'm, I'm going to be like, all see, right, that's I don't want to that shit. When the jail goes on lockdown or whatever the case may be, or the, the COs have mandatory drafts for overtime or whatever, it's mandatory. Yeah. You know? Oh, I so know. You know, how many, I know. You know how many people be like, oh, my hair hurt, I don't feel good, or whatever the case may be. So Listen, at the end of the day, I, 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 I understand that rule, but they still break a suit. Yeah. I get it. But if, if my safety is in jeopardy, I'm sorry. I just can't see me logically being able to sit here and listen to these, these rules of you can't because you can't. You know what I'm saying? Because this is your job and you can't. See, I worked at Hickey mm -hmm. and I had just had my baby. And the only days that they gave me off was Tuesday and Wednesday in the summertime. And I worked 3 to 11. Mm -hmm. Every day with a brand new baby. It was the most antagonizing foolishness that I've ever dealt with. But a couple nights I got drafted. And to, it wasn't my fault. The was people, the yeah. The, the people didn't want to come to work. Right. Mm -hmm. And I happened to get drafted like two nights back to back. And the person that I was working on the unit with loved to get drafted. Because he wanted to work triple and double overtime every <laughs> every other day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So, but his type of draft at night, because he's a man and he thinks he can handle it, is to fall asleep. Right. Yeah. No, you're not going to fall asleep on me with a whole, it's just me and you. Nobody else is there at night but me and you. And you fall asleep with a whole unit of 60 little boys up here. No, not on my watch. Right. You know what I did after those two drafts? Y'all gotta, I came to, I said, listen, we gotta figure out something. This ain't gonna work for me. I don't mind being drafted, but is there a way that I, I'm a new month? Like, I came to them with drafted my Drafted every day. Yeah, right. they were like, no, we, I mean, you know, you get drafted, sorry, whatever. Do, yeah. do you want better? I won't ever get drafted again. I left and yeah. did not come back. It was too much. It was, I don't wanna be stuck in a situation like that. Right. That, that, it can be, it, that can be a little hard to deal with. Because you, you know, everybody, anybody who's worked in the jail knows that moments of craziness are unpredictable. You don't know when shit going to pop off. And, and if they train you for shit to pop off, but... And they always pop yeah. off at the wrong time. Yeah. You break it off at 3, yeah. and it's popping off at 2.45. Yeah. D block, D block. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think like for a pregnant woman, then they should have been a little bit more sensitive to the, her situation. Yeah, or maybe maybe she should have been on a different post. Do they let you go on a different post? But you know one thing, though, and I hate to say this because I'm female point. or whatever the case may be, but this is a prime example as to why certain jobs at one point didn't hire females. Okay, I get that. Ah, uh, I'm glad you said that, cause that's gonna lead. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, I forgot who no. I, I forgot no, where I went. That's gonna lead into our next topic, right? Because in some states, I, I, I'm not sure. I think it was a state. I think it was Tennessee, and they was talking about uh, no more alimony, oh my and God, that is thanks to uh, thanks to feminists, because feminists are calling for like, uh, you know, they calling for equal equal rights, equal treatment, and stuff like that. <laughs> so now we just got through talking about a couple situations where, number one, you ain't, you was a, a new mother and you was in a oh, unit, God. you know, and so that the situation that came up with these women, that wouldn't occur like with a man. <laughs> so, excitement. You know, I, I'm just saying because this, said the feminist they yeah, in charge of getting rid of alimony. Here we go. Here we go. No, no, no. They're not in charge of getting rid of alimony. Why? Because only women want alimony? They said it's partly their fault because <laughs> they are calling for equal rights. So if, if you want to be equal, then why should you get alimony when you leave, like when you leave the marriage? So only women get alimony. Men uh, get alimony. I know a lot of a men. Hand for you now, only a handful. Look at Marie J. Blige's house. Yeah. And he asked him for more. Only most of the time, men don't even ask for alimony. It's women. So, so okay. So, we don't, but that don't that don't go in line with your macho man. Well, yeah, no but I mean, I don't think because why do you care? You don't want you don't want men to ask for alimony anyway. 
who so, I don't. Yeah, because that's that that would be less than manly. <laughs> so if you was married to Oprah and Oprah was I'm um, putting you out or leaving you, you wouldn't ask her for nothing. If I was stepping, if I've been with Oprah for all these years now in this day and time, would I ask for alimony? I mean, no. Oh, yeah. Know. Listen, <laughs> Stevin know his lane, and that's why he stayed in it and ain't opened his mouth all of this time. Yeah. He ain't. Oprah Winfrey is never, ever, under any conditions, marrying Stepman. No, oh, he don't want to marry. Uh, Oprah. She don't want to marry him. Yeah. Imagine how much stuff she would lose when she let the government get in their business. You you oh, you don't like. Right. I'm only saying, repeat what you said. Right. Exactly. Exactly. For a person. I mean, I always stand about being together. You will fuss about the government being in, in, in your business yeah. and not getting married. Right, exactly, because I don't so, believe in marriage. Oh, wait a minute, what? I you don't, don't believe in marriage. Wait a minute. All of the way what did you marry before? To work it out. I was. I was married one time, yeah, but then I... But then, like... What you yeah, have I mean, to do? No one touched me. Like father, like, like father, like daughter. Yeah. So she what was like... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was married so, before, but I said I'll never get married again. Why? Though. Because just be, for the legal reasons, I just don't want the state to be, you know, all in my business. So that makes more of a reason why stepping all this time. Wait, is no, not wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 go back, go back, so let's go back. Because all right, like when you, when you, um, like say if you marry, you accumulate some things over the years, and then once you, once you get a divorce. Then well, y'all fighting you, over. But how you gonna get? How you know you gonna get divorced? So you already, you so you already got in your mind you gonna get married and you gonna get divorced. No, no. I mean, it's but if divorce do happen, then you know that you know it's it's going to be, in most cases it's gonna be contentious. So what about a prenup? No, nah, prenups ain't no good. People be getting around prenups. So I'm all right. Say like all right, like if me and Melissa was to separate or or break up or something like that, we not married. So mm -hmm. that means that she can, you know, she can go her way, I'll go my way, and we won't have to worry about giving no lawyer no money or nothing yeah, like that. I mean, so, so I mean, it's when just you get practice. married, you definitely bring. I agree. When you, so the lawyers married, wind up making out better off your divorce than than even sometimes even the wife. Oh God. The lawyers wind up making, especially if you got money. Now, if you broke like me, then it ain't gonna make no difference. What if you are a wife who who did not bring money but decided to? raise the family and you don't have years invested with money and you brought money to the table like if you don't have a career like yeah. all your time was spent like like raising the family and stuff like that you don't think she entitled to, to alimony or some support not no more she not, not in oh, tennessee she not right. mm -hmm. make sure I'm no, that means that she get that, that means like when she leaves the marriage well it, and you can't get like permanent unlimited they'll give you a certain amount of time and a lot of alimony. alimony is like that yeah, they so, give you a certain amount of time to get on your feet. There's a lot of cases like that. Well, in some cases, you got they lifelong wait until, alimony. Yeah, no more lifelong alimony in Tennessee. So now in some cases, you'll be able to get it until you remarry. And then some women well, don't. Some people don't remarry. Yeah, they, like Tracy why. Edmonds. Who is? Uh, Babyface. Oh. Yeah. Babyface wife. Yeah. yeah. She been, what's her name? She won't remarry because she she'll lose a whole lot. Because she's still reaping a lot and of benefits. That's probably a complication that they probably that's fair, had though. How is that not fair? She should not get no lifetime. She do not qualify for no lifetime. How do you know what she qualified for? for well, nobody qualified for lifetime alimony. She was. She had money before she met him. She, she could have helped her build the face records from no, the beginning. No, she didn't. Him. No, no. She you should not know. get no alimony for a lifetime. Well, guess she what? getting it. That's the agreement. Well, now they they this. That's why I do number one, not getting married. And then now, number two, they changing the laws. So women won't Y'all got to pick a position. Either uh, you want to be the man has... who takes care of everything, good or bad, through it all. If you're going to be that man and be that man, you can't be like, oh, partially halfway that man. Like, what side are you on? Are you this strong? I'm going to take care of my family, man. Yeah, I'm going to take care of my family as long as you're my family. If you got my family, then wow. why why should I be taking care of you? The same reason that you want Nia Long to just take Ine Duque back because they they've been together for so long. Working they was building. If you're gonna be family, together, be together. Family, if it ain't equivalent to building things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if you once you decide that you know whoever decides that y'all not gonna be together, then why should the man continue to have to uh you know to foot the bill? She could. Get a job just like he got to work, she should have to work. 
when you got money, that's that's how it goes. Yeah. That's how it goes. I know people that's broke that be wanting alimony and I'm sure the judge sitting there facing be like, Alim what? Yeah. <laughs> that brother ain't got nothing. Right. You ain't so got I nothing. Got divorce, they asked me, <laughs> what did y'all make together? You know, they isn't alimony you based alimony? on things? So, so what is like in Maryland, like how much alimony? Oh, how I don't long know. Have you been able to get I, I, I don't know because I ain't that. Yeah. Um, but I told him no because we came up to an agreement on our own. Like it was certain things that I asked him to do. Even though he tried to fight me on the child support, and he ended up screwing himself. Yeah. But um, I asked him to do certain things, and he he did it. He agreed. So I don't need no alimony. Yeah. I mean, and he doing worse than me. So what like taking money from him? <laughs> so, yeah. But couldn't y'all have came to those agreements without you y'all being married too, right? Because y'all y'all did y'all use a so lawyer? So here's the thing. No, we didn't use a lawyer. We didn't we didn't use a lawyer. So here's the thing. The thing, the only one thing that I asked for was for him to keep me on his dental um, part of his insurance and his vision part because I was supposed to be getting the vision line mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and to pay his child support. Um, that's it. That's all I asked for. I wasn't asking for nothing else. So I'm still on his dental and vision and he pays child support. Now, are you, how long are you going to be on his dental and vision though? Well, I ain't got my invisible line started yet. So yeah. I got the suits I get them and get them over with. Yeah. But even if I, if I mean, his dental coverage had covered more, it was better than mine because, like, at the certain, sometimes certain insurances cover orthodontic stuff at for at a certain age, and some don't. And unfortunately, yeah, mine, they, they give you like a lifetime. Mine don't have that time. coverage, and yeah. his did. Yeah. So that's that's kind of the way that was with that. So I suppose we get the visa line soon. So yeah, <laughs> well. listen, but that works. Now, and even if I had to pay, even if I had to pay him his nine dollars a month or twelve dollars or however much they take for dental, because you know dental is cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. Okay, here go your ten dollars or fifteen dollars or whatever. Um, you know what, Shari Shepard had to pay. Uh, what she had? Did she have alimony? She had to pay exactly. alimony. Exactly. Yeah. But she was only paying like a hundred and something dollars a month, though. I don't care. Listen, your homeboys when they come, when they come for alimony after a woman. That they ain't built nothing with that they was just they on their they own itch for this. They itch it. Oh, oh, they come for they wow. come from the jugular. Yeah, they I mean, want I, all I, the money. Like I they, thought that was bogus for him to um, you know, to go after her for uh for alimony. Especially that's, like, that's, like he was my a comedian. She was a comedian. It's a, it's a you know. man scorn. Oh. It just it'd be real. Well, that most of the time is women scorned. Yeah, so men are now taking a role to be scorned as I well. I said they itches. Yeah, so that's They're the like, new itches now. So you need that's to address the, that. That's the new, uh, what is it called? That's the new equal rights. Okay. It's a lot of sassy men. Yeah. I guess you're right. <laughs> they equally yoked now. Yeah, so, so if you're due in, uh, my what phone is, is jumping off right now. If you're due in uh, Tennessee, you know, then you don't have to worry More about it. So basically, you can go out here, what you say, but I'm sure there's laws and rules to that too. Mm -hmm. Don't think you could go out here and cheat, be married, right. and doing whatever you want to do, and you will get off sky easy. Yeah. No, because you still going to mess around and probably have to pay lifelong alimony yeah. and some more stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just like, Slowly, like laws are changing, though. Yeah, they are. And they, now, and some of them for the better, some of them for the worse. They got a law that where if you get pregnant from a one night stand, you can't, um, you can't sue the guy. What? Oh, oh this, this gonna get real. Tricky. Where, where you get these laws? <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you serious? On Wednesday. Oh, you pissed me off on Saturday. Wait till Wednesday. Yeah. You pissed me off on Saturday. Wait till Wednesday. That's insane. Mm. What? Yeah. And you know, down in North Carolina, if a person cheat and they marry man or woman, they can sue the other person. The other person. Right. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. So that's if you're a man down there cheating, that's. Is, ain't that in other states one. besides North Carolina? Get, somebody tried to mm -hmm. sue Fantasia. No, it was down North Carolina. The white came that? to sue Fantasia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember yeah. that. I wonder, did she get any money? I'm sure, yeah, she did. She did? What? Well, she came to a settlement or whatever, but yeah. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Right. 
Yeah. I guess it's not. I mean, you gotta get your your lick back some kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Mike. How long have we been on? Wow, we've been on for that long. Oh, all right. Nice. Um. So tonight is the show. It's showtime tonight. Yeah. Dullies. Um. Where's the uh where's the Sully's uh card at? I mean oh so we can't see it. Yeah, um tonight, eight o'clock. Yes, doors yeah. open, eight o'clock, eight o'clock, eight o'clock. And the, and the show started what 8:30. time? Show starts at 8 30. Don't meet me there, beat me there. <laughs> Yeah, this this is a nice lineup. I like it. I'm this. excited. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Yeah. I said it was an expensive lineup, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, um <laughs> Yeah, I'm a now who is the DJ? Shay. DJ Shay. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Oh, that's gonna be cool. She over there. You see her? She over there with her head. Oh, what is oh it? with the headphones head on, on, yeah. Head. DJ Shay, Katie Funny as Fuck, Ray Diva, Dave Butler, Henry Jones. Yeah. Oh, that's the one that we just saw. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She yeah. She's pretty funny. He went viral. Oh, Dave Butler. He went viral with the heckler. And, and that's not even Dave's style. Dave is just one of, he one of the sweetest, little humblest, quietest. Dave. And what somebody Dave. was heckling him? And a gay girl. Oh, yeah. For real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, what she was heckling him about? Talk about his clothes and he ain't no real man and all this bunch of crazy stuff. And... <laughs> what? But I mean, come on now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she just kept going, kept going, kept he going, kept, kept, he going. kept giving her like, that work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so all the, you, you sold out though, right? Yeah, so I right. I was gonna tell y'all to sign, you know, to hit her up for some tickets, but I mean it's still some it's still a couple spot. I don't know how many. Yeah. But it's still some so, door sales, but yes, all my tickets and all that stuff is done. So all right. like, it's come done. at your own risk. I had ninety I had ninety hand tickets. Yeah. So he's whole like hundred and twenty. Mm. And you got rid of your tickets. All my tickets is done. That's sorry. Right. So <laughs> And people won't pay at the door. Yeah. I don't know how many people, but I ain't working. Do your um, do your comedians do like the comedians who work? Do they get tickets to sell to, or you you mainly so, do the? Me. Mm -hmm. I rather I I don't I do it myself. Oh okay. I'm not like some people. They have shows. They be like, all right, if you sell this, I give you this. And I I don't work like that because yeah. I believe it is a business. Mm -hmm. I agree. But if you're promoting something, if you're doing something, it's your responsibility to oh, get okay. the people in there. I can't say, oh, I got this $2,000 budget and I got these four or five comics and I need them to sell 10 tickets each to come cover my cost. Because no, at the end of the day, if they sell three tickets and this will sell four tickets and my budget is $2,000, I'm going to be stuck at the end yeah. trying to put this money together. So I'd rather just... But it in my hand. Like if, if I'm doing it, it's in my hand. And if my if my budget is this, then I know what I gotta do mm -hmm. or whatever. So yeah, promoting is a full time job. Right? That's a full time job. Yeah. All right. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah. Um, come on over to Sully's. Yes. If you and need I to buy a ticket. I mean, if you don't have a ticket, you can still come, but you need to be there when the doors open because, like I said, I'm not working with that much space. Yeah. And yeah. First it come, is first serve. Yeah, first come, first serve. Thank you, Tanisha. Yeah, that's yeah. it. First come, first serve. All yeah. right. 9306 Off the Road. Yeah. Like I said, don't meet me there, beat me there. And I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all. Oh, Saturday, I mean, Sunday, tomorrow, I'm doing the sports show. So, tune in at 11 a.m. for the sports show. And uh, appreciate y'all checking us out. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. All righty, peace. <laughs>